Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 8 of Aura the Ancient Nord, part of Character Crusade Skyrim Unbound. We just cleared out this vampire's lair, and we're clearing out the loot, the best part. And we found an illusion skill book. So if you know our character Aura, she was not given any magic in this random start. But I feel that she used to use magic and somehow it was erased from her mind. And so these books are giving her knowledge that she had forgotten. And now we're finding some enchanted objects also. And a spell tome of alarm. So that's... All of these things are resonating with her, where when she touches a magical object or when she reads these books and learns from them, the skills or the spells, and here also the alchemy table is drawing her in and she sees a skull there. These people are pretty sick. So she looks in this alchemy. She's got a bunch of ingredients she's found and she has no idea what to do with any of these in this thing. So this thing is apparently not for her. She sees a potion and... She knows what to do with that. And there's a book here that describes vampires. Now, Aura has actually been bit by a vampire at the start of this whole adventure. And we have one left, so we're going to have to dispatch this thrall that had been hidden in the background. And we have a helper here from the town, but who is not exactly all that helpful. He's yelling, do something. Well, why are you here? Okay. Soul gems also are magical. You can capture people's souls, which seems really mysterious to Aura at this point. Now we find a book about the Daedra. So this is also very intriguing because Daedra like to play with humans and they have little games and they, I don't even know what their deal is. They test them and they trick them and they entice them. So the way I'm looking at it is that Probably Aura had some nasty encounter with the Daedra who wiped, possibly wiped her mind. And look at this. Around this area, this is the eeriest spot. I mean, these vampires picked the perfect location to have their lair. I, I don't know what real estate agent gave them this place, but it was an easy sell. You just see the outside here. Yeah, I'm a vampire. I'm going to live here. So... Okay, this guy... I don't know what his deal is. He's going back to the town now. So we're going to follow him there. Because if you'll remember, I got really lost on the way here. I went the wrong way and ended up in the next town over and had to go through the mountains and the fields. And it took me all day. So we're just going to stick back. This guy's walking slow, but we do not want to get lost. And we make it back fine to the hall of the Jarl where we're supposed to tell them exactly what happened with this vampire. So we enter and it's quiet and peaceful because it's the middle of the night. There's a big comfy chair here, so we decide to sit there and wait. There's no other chairs apparently out here. So, sitting like a king or a jarl or whatever. It's three in the morning, nobody cares. We're just gonna wait till morning and then when we hear them get up, uh, we go to talk to the Jarl, who's still in her bedroom getting ready. So we give her a little space. They're complaining about the local town wizard, as usual. Now this Jarl loves mysticism and all sorts of weird stuff. So she's intrigued by us because she knows something's up with us and we have some sort of power or visions but we don't know she might know better than we know and for all we know she knows us from the past also and hasn't said anything because she's weird see she loves us By the eight, I didn't think he could do oh it. well wait you sent us to our now death then we can put all this behind us. i didn't think you could do it go kill this guy i don't think you can do it all right what's she giving us decent amount of gold 400 gold. That'll help. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are wow. perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who So they are really honoring us. 
You help my people, and I'll make you my. So we already helped them do this one thing, and yeah, that's really honor. We have no identity, and now these people are already casting us as a hero. We don't think we're a hero, actually, deep down. Okay, so now we got to talk to this guy. There aren't any houses for sale in Morthal, but if you're interested. I could sell you land in the hold where you could build your own house. They're already offering us land, which is very prestigious, apparently. Well, that's your but business. we don't have is enough money for it right now. So we're going to have to go and make some that's more money. And that is a lot of gold place to make uh, hunting and skinning now and selling meat. So we're going to have to figure some other stuff out. And once again, this guy's complaining about the wizard. Right, the... the Look at this. The town is so nice. This town is shrouded in fog and rain. Now that we killed these vampires and dealt with the threat, it's Please nice and your... bright and it's sunny. Not mad. It's really, pretty interesting. Not. I don't. I haven't mother's gift. Not quite. But I've seen things. See, everyone here is obsessed with psychic and magical powers. Okay, so we're going to see what's up over here. There's some type of blacksmith, Martin, maybe. The best warrior in oh, this is the guy that no challenged ghost. us to a fight when we first came to the town and ended up actually killing us because Until we next time. slipped a potion. Not supposed to do that. Okay, this is not even a real blacksmith. There's just a tanning rack, so we can't sell our loot here. we got to start selling stuff. We're trying to make five grand or however no, no. much we need. Well, sometimes, but that's okay. not the problem. All there is a little alchemist shop. I just shop. often don't have much to do, so I tend to... This lady's try pretty fun. They don't usually work, but I try. Next thing I know, I've used up most of my stock. She's an experimenter. This town's very experimental, I think. I think that's the point of this whole place. I picked up the trade when I was a girl. One of the temple healers staying here on a pilgrimage showed me the basics. She had a book with her. Song of the Alchemists that I used to read. So we're getting a quest now. We're gonna find this book for this lady. Really? I'd be happy to show you a bit about herbs if you find the book. It's, I like quests like this. It just gives you an excuse to go to location. It's not nothing complicated. She has a little backstory. So you're interested in my potions. And let's reading. see if she has any health potions. We used quite a lot in that last fight. And I don't know if we can sell her anything, but we'll, we will see what we can sell her also. A little stamina too. And she'll buy some of our food. So we actually have a bunch of this raw meat, which isn't really worth anything. Some elk. Well, we'll sell her the cooked meat because we already worked at that. And we have all these ingredients. We've been skinning and gutting animals. We have all this disgusting stuff. Bones, giant bones, bloody bones. I don't know why we're carrying this around, but we can scrimshaw some of this and make stuff. So we're going to keep a couple, but we're going to sell her most of it. That's a pretty decent price for a bone. Got animal fat. I mean, I don't know why we're lugging all this around. We're fighting vampires with like 20 bones in our backpack. We should have given them to them and maybe they would have uh, sucked on the bone and not attacked us. Okay, so now we're going to check out the enchanting table. And we're learning enchanting. We're going to disenchant the stuff that we found that we don't really want to use. Because we already have an axe that we made ourselves out of animal bones, like I was just saying. That's one of the things you can make. So here's the thing. We don't need that axe. We're not going to use an axe that we just found. We're going to we're going to learn from it. I don't know how this works, but this table teaches you. So, and we have this vampire armor which was a duplicate of the other armor. But the vampire armor is worth some money, so we're going to try to sell that. And we disenchanted this other thing. And we can't enchant anything cuz we don't have any soul gems that are filled with souls right now. So this guy's got a bunch on his shelf, so we're going to see if we can buy a soul gem from him and learn some enchanting. Not that we're going to use that enchanted stuff because we won't be that powerful at this level. And we see these are quite expensive, so we're going to be better off finding them in a dungeon because we need our money to buy that property that the guy in the Jarl's place was telling us about. Everything this guy has, is, even the petty ones, are pretty expensive. But he'll buy some of our stuff. He'll buy a few of our articles of clothing, mostly the stuff that can be used by mages, including this vampire armor, which should be worth a lot more. But 
we'll take what we can get at this point. And you see we do have three petty soul gems that aren't filled with souls, so maybe someday we're going to learn that, but not today. Until next time. So yeah, until next time, here on Aura, the Ancient Nord.